Okay, y'all, so Tay has, you know, said she's not making a video about the whole situation unless Jazz does one first and she'll react to her video. So, guess what, y'all? Jazz made her video and I reacted to that one yesterday. If you haven't seen it, link is down below or popping up somewhere on the screen. But, yeah, y'all, I'm going to be reacting to Tay's. I've seen it already, so... The reaction is not really that, you know, shocking to me, but um, I'm just going to react to it because it was very emotional. And yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to like to one of my comments. Y'all yeah, already know what the yeah. is. Share yeah. goddess get into this much video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all, Y'all, Tay is so pretty without makeup. Like, I really don't feel like she needs it. Like, she just doesn't. Congrats, that's a knock, okay? Welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if you're new. It's me, T today. Okay. To the E for y'all that don't know how to spell, I am Tay and I'm back with another video. But this video, I'm gonna be reacting to Jazz's video. What Yo, y'all need to comment down below what sort of curls she got in her hair because those are cute. Are those wet and wavy? I gotta know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all know. I have between me and Tay. Purchase, and yeah, I told y'all I would not make a video, but I would react to her video if she made a video. So here's the time. The time has come. Here we are. I already got the video pulled up on my laptop. I watched it already, like when she first dropped it. We're also in the same boat. Be in the same boat, y'all, because I already told y'all that I watched this already, so I'm just gonna react to this. Same way how I reacted it to my head yesterday. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. Text her and I told her. Yeah, and then I watched it already, and I was so emotional to watch this. So hopefully, I don't get emotional watching this this time, and I'm just gonna react. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, like, I like when people show their true emotion, show their genuinity. I don't know, it just makes you see that obviously they're human but like you know so that they can't hurt or whatever back to the part where she's talking about me and yeah i'm gonna add my two cents in if i need to i'm a corrector if she's wrong i'm a oh. i'm a corrector if she's wrong okay you better not be wrong you better come correct just you know react to it i guess i'm not really a reacting channel so if i react wrong i'm sorry i'm not gonna put the video on the screen if y'all how do you react wrong? I'm gonna watch the video, go watch it, but y'all just gonna be seeing me react to the video. I'm gonna be pausing it if I need to correct. All right, thanks. Basically, kind of, basically, this is like, you know what I'm saying, just bear with me, that's all I'm saying, just bear with me. So, basically y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tay, we were basically kind of disconnected. We were disconnected, and that's why I was trying to get us connected back connected that's why i was trying i was attempting and attempting and attempting to y'all i feel like y'all ever hear that in a relationship there's always a person that loves the other person more i feel like tay is the one that loved jazz more than jazz loved tay comment down below if you feel that too to work on stuff but you know a relationship takes two instead of one that's why it's just not working out like if oh the shade she was saying that jazz was not trying to work on it okay if I'm just trying to work on a relationship and you're trying to work on something else, of course it's not going to work out. Let's be real. Communication. Oh, Shay. Totally like, it was out of there, man. Like, it was shit. Like, it I feel like my communication was good because every time I felt some type of way, every time I felt like our relationship was like on the verge of breaking, I would talk to her, I would come to her, I would do all of that. Like, like I said, y'all, in my previous reaction to Jazz's, you know, video, communication is key. So if Tay's the one trying to communicate all the time and Jazz just, like she said, ignoring her and not paying attention to the way she feels, obviously the relationship is just not going to work. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't, how can I put this? You can't stand too long on one foot. That's not, okay. If, Y'all just, y'all understand what I'm saying. Let's be real. 
this ass. Like, we were not communicating the way that we needed to and the way that we wanted to as a couple. And Yo, y'all see that face? Jazz Taze is like, duh. Whose fault is that? Yes, as a couple. I'm glad. I felt like back then I wasn't understanding enough because, you know, I'm going to be a bigger person. I'm going to be, you know, a bigger person and admit my wrongs and say when I was wrong. I'm glad that Jazz was big enough to, you know, admit her wrongs and, you know, not blame everything on Tay. Like she says, I mean, a relationship is between two people. But you know what I'm saying? It took me to like December to look back at the entire year and really like look at things as a whole and like divide it. Like, damn. Damn. Like, maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. I wasn't even calling out for help. I was just trying to save our relationship. It's the thing. Like, I hate when people try to... I don't think she was calling out for help. I think she was calling out for attention. Not from, you know, anybody other than her significant other, which was Jazz. Just Jazz wasn't... Jazz wasn't answering the phone. Like, she wasn't answering her calls. If y'all understand what I'm saying. Not, like, her actual call. Like... She wasn't answering her call for help or her call for attention. I use because I I brought it to YouTube that I was depressed at one point, but I wasn't even depressed. Like, of course, I was going through some stuff, and of course, we're in a relationship. I'm thinking I can talk to you. I can count on you to like vent to, because that's all I needed was to vent. Once I release what I'm feeling. Ooh, that is the worst. When you're in a relationship and. You know, your significant other doesn't feel like they can come to you to talk about anything. That's when shit starts to shift. Like, like, mm, that's when the communication and the relationship starts to die. Because if you're supposed to be my significant other, you're supposed to be, you know, my best friend or whatever, my partner, my husband, my wife, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, whatever it is. I'm supposed to be able to come to you and talk to you about anything. If I can't do that, who am I supposed to turn to? Inside that's making me feel any type of way, I'm good. But I didn't have that person to vent to. That's how I feel. I feel like with Jazz, I was always there, always listening, always encouraging her, always uplifting her, always doing everything like that. But I just, this year, I don't feel like it was reciprocated. Is that the word? Reciprocated. Yes, bro. I don't feel like Yes, Bill. The word is reciprocated, which means you weren't getting it back. You weren't receiving the same treatment. Like it was like, you know. Because she had told me, you know, um, another thing that she was called out for help the whole year and I was missing the signs and maybe I was, I was. It wasn't really calling out for help. It was just calling out for you. The person I'm in a relationship it with, was. like, Period. I thought since we're in a relationship, I can vent to you about my problems just as much as you vent to me. Like, I'm always open ears for you. I just wanted you to be open ears for me. But I guess. Yeah, and sometimes, like, I'd be going to, like, my husband, you know what I mean? Like, because he's, like, supposed to be my best friend. But, like, sometimes because of all, he knows, like, the stuff that I go through and I, like, weighs me down like it really gets my mind flustered but sometimes he just doesn't want to hear it not because you know he doesn't want to be there but he just doesn't want me in that state of mind if you get what i'm saying but sometimes a girl just needs a vent like that's why like i'd be getting like i i like to write and draw so like if i feel like i know he doesn't want to hear it, or i know something that you know will have him feeling just as bad as i do i pray i write letters to god like i just find a different outlet i guess not but i'm glad that you're aware i just wasn't jay says i'm glad you're aware now hitting on to him until like kind of the end of november like yeah let me I sorry just, i keep stopping it someone's off i'm just like bro some is very much off i'm like yeah, something was off. You felt like that because that was my third time coming to you. 
and telling you like I feel like we honestly needed a full week to act so basically Tay saying that Jazz just wasn't there for her she wasn't fulfilling her emotional needs y'all and sometimes this is what y'all need to understand about in a relationship it's not all physical it's not all about sex you need that person to lean on emotionally mentally like it's not all about physically and sexually like it's, it's more than that spiritually actually connect again to get to know each other again to like you know get back into that relationship mode but truth be told y'all honestly i feel like jazz put me down when she put that camera down but i me as a person i should have realized like dang maybe she needs some space from the camera and me but maybe our communication was off and i didn't really realize that I feel like they should have, when Tay really felt like that, I feel like she should have, you know, expressed herself to Jazz. I mean, I know she said she did, but, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes they got to hear more than once, y'all. Sometimes they got to hear more than once. And sometimes, you know, maybe you got to put it differently, not really putting the blame on them. I don't know. You got to try different approaches. Comment down below if you think I'm right or if you just think I'm talking on my ass. Like... But now I realize that, and I'm respecting her space, for real, for real. Everything. Maybe she just wasn't ready for a relationship during that, you know, time. I, I understand. After two years, you ain't ready for a relationship after, what is it, two or three years? I understand. Like, I really do. I'm very understanding. All you got to do is talk to me and let me know. Because if you don't let me know, then I'm going to be in my head trying to put two and three together. Yeah. And it, it don't equal eight, okay? It equals five, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, somebody's mowing. If y'all hear that, I apologize. I'm like, we are not here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we are wasn't not here. here. We, we are here. not here. Like. And it just sucks, y'all, that the fact that they figure all this out when the relationship is over. Like, why couldn't... I just wish that they could have come together and, you know, really talk this out one-on-one. -on -one when they were together rather than talking at each other through a computer screen on YouTube. We would be good. It would work out for a week. And then... Yeah, it will... Okay, it's a commercial. I'm going to watch her ad because, you know, I'm, I'm very supportive. Support. Support your I girl. Am. I'm supportive. But um, while this ad is playing, of course, we was not here. And we will get here for a week and then we will separate because... Why? Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. I tried to write down some stuff. What happened, Jazz? Why, girl? You want to know too? Why? To do, I tried to. I guess we outgrew each other as a person, and I yeah. we just keep trying and trying. It wasn't working because, like I said, I guess we outgrew each other. Y'all gotta realize they've been together since you know Tay was really young. I think she was eighteen. Now she's 22. Jazz is 20. Now she's 24. That's four years, y'all. And at 18, you're young, you know. Like, now she's like, what, 22? People change over the years. Like, I'm not the same person I was when I was 21, when my husband and I met. You know what I mean? People change. So you got to grow with each other, learn to get to know each other. Every day is a different process. But if you're just going to stick to the same ways that you were before and you're not elevating with me like where like come on now like it happens it's life just communicate two weeks two weeks and a half we'll talk it out everything go back to good i would say i'll work on this and i'm gonna do this and i guess to her she wasn't seeing the progress she wasn't yeah she said she was gonna work on this and work on that and months have passed, and the stuff that she says she's working on, no changes. It, the stuff she said she's going to get better at, no changes. I understand change don't happen over time, and I didn't expect that. But it's like, dang, the change. I just feel like Tay wanted Jazz to at least try, or she wanted to see effort. Even if that's, you know, talking more, or, you know, spending one-on-one -on -one time together without the camera, like... You know what I mean? It's just simple, sweet things like that. It just never happened. It's like, 
the whole year went by and the change just never happened. So, and I'm not just going to be miserable, you know? And sometimes y'all can go on a date and like, well, I guess not anymore, but they could have went on dates or like went on, you know, had game nights or, you know, that corny cute shit without the camera. Like you don't need to put everything out to the world. Sometimes, you know, it's just for you guys. We don't need to know every single little detail of your life. Now, I've been in that place where it was my lowest, and that's just not something I want to go back to. So, if y'all want to be honest, I called. I'm just gonna finish. I'm gonna finish the video, then I'm gonna explain what yeah, I was about to say. All right. How she wanted to see it, and I don't know if like, she wanted to see it immediately, or no. she also tell me like, "Yo, I'm, like, I'm not trying to see it immediately." Like, I'm not. But I'm also not seeing any actions. Exactly, like, it was at a point where she... See what I say, she just at least wanted to see you try. It was just all talk and no action. It's like she was trying to tell me something I wanted to hear, but honestly, in reality, it's just like, I don't want to hear it if you ain't showing it. You, you, you get what I'm saying? And that's the worst, y'all. Say, like when you're trying to do stuff with someone, and you know, they'll be like, yeah, I will do better, you know, I can do better. It's like a job. Like, you have a job, and the boss says, hey, you need to, you know, pick up the slack. If you ain't picking up the slack, and you keep saying, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do it, guess what? They're going to fire your ass. So, basically, Jazz just got fired. Yeah. I just feel like I had a lot to work on. And then at the end of December, she had, like, a little breakdown. That's where she had made the post that you guys seen. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the Y'all, I think I included the post in my previous video. Post it all until Yes, y'all. Um, in December, I was just to my breaking point. I can't even lie to y'all. When I say I've been trying and trying and trying, I was just to my breaking point. Because first of all, I was venting to you, but it was going through one ear out the other. It was just like, okay, now let me just vent how I used to vent back in the day. And now it's just like... I don't know why I went to the internet. I apologize for that, but it's like, who else? Who else am I gonna go to? She know my situation. She know what I was going through. It's just like, who else am I gonna vent to? But I do apologize. Y'all may I ask why on earth Tay has on a jacket in the house? Guys, for bringing it to the internet because that was just out of my character. That's just not me. I'm like a, a reality type of person. I'm like in the like. A human, I'm a real ass human, not the internet didn't take over my brain type of person. And I apologize for going to the internet. I just didn't have nobody else to go to. So I just figured out maybe Team Tay, I just had to get that off my chest. You know when you keep something on your chest, it's gonna bother you even more. But once I got that off my chest, I was just like, okay. And then the next day I regretted it, of course, because it ended up on all the T pages. Oh. And it was a lesson learned. Everybody goes through lessons. It's like when I make a mistake, I learned that. When I make a mistake, everybody think it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't make a mistake. Because you're a social, social influencer, girl. Like a celebrity. Whatever you do, everybody dramatically <laughs> maximizes it, girl. It is what it is. You put your life out there for the public. They're going to ridicule and judge you. But... People gotta understand, I make mistakes too. And, yeah. And that's like that night when I personally had got on uh, Instagram. And the crazy thing about it, like that night when I seen it, man, I mean, it just, the argument just got worse. I just felt like you didn't talk to me before you had made that post. Okay, I feel like that's the part where Jay's like, are you kidding me? Because like Tay said, she's been trying to reach out to her. She, just, she wasn't listening. Now that, you know, she made it public, it's an issue. Well, I was trying to be private with it, but you wasn't listening. I didn't talk to Let's keep watching. But she claimed she had been trying to reach out. And there we go. Been trying exactly. to call out for help. Exactly. And you were just too focused on you. And I understand that. Self-love, best love, period. I understand that. But when you're in a relationship, it's kind of like you got to compromise. And that compromising part. Y'all, when you're in a relationship, it is you. Don't get me wrong. You got to take out time for yourself. Do your own thing. But when you're in a relationship, 
you gotta think about two people. You gotta think about you and your significant other. So if you only think about you, why are you even in the relationship in the first place? Just wasn't there. I, we just needed to work on that, I guess. But that I was missing a sign, so that was her only way of letting out emotions. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, I thought I actually sat down and thought and look back on it. I was like, okay, understandable. But um, yeah, from there, we were trying to kind of like work on it. It wasn't working. Um, we were it wasn't working because. Your mindset wasn't in that relationship mode, if you want, if you get what I'm saying. I feel like Jazz was trying to work on herself. That she, you know, she was trying to work so much on herself that she lost, you know, her other self, which is her relationship self. If you get what I'm saying? She lost that aspect of her life. Drawing ourselves, we were disconnecting even more. And just with everything that was kind of like going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people. We got real feelings. Real shit was said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real shit was was said. Okay, let's... When you're angry, yeah, some real shit does come out. I'm not even gonna lie. I said some real foul, hurtful shit because I was mad. But, you know what I mean? Like... Sometimes you can get over it, and then sometimes it's just like, uh, -uh. it went too far, and you know, coming back from that. So you sometimes gotta hold your mouth, hold your tongue, bite your tongue, whatever you wanna call it. And you know, just really be careful what comes out of your mouth, because whatever is said, you can never take it back. Let's get into that. When she said real shit was said, yes. Okay, that night when I posted that, and then she peeped it, everything would lift. I kid you not, everything would love. I was just talking out of anger, if you get what I'm saying. And I guess a lot of people not used to me talking out of anger because the way I carry myself, the way I am, I'm very, like, supportive, loving, spiritual, all that. But that night... And Tay's a really quiet person. Like, she's really to herself. She's a really private person. So for her to go out on the internet, oh, you know something was wrong. I, I kid you not, y'all. It's like something took over my mindset. It was just full of anger, full of rage. I think she just lost it, y'all. She was just like, I had enough. Her, her top blew. She blew her top. Full of everything. And I do apologize for saying some stuff that I didn't mean, honestly. But it's like, let's look back at it. What caused that? We got to think about like, dang, what caused me to rage like that? What caused this? It's like, once you keep calling out and calling <laughs> out and calling out, and then everything just keep building up. Of course, it's just going to explode. What do you expect? Like yes. And I do apologize. I really do. I, I apologize for getting out of my character. Don't see that? Honestly. When you are arguing, real feelings are put on the floor. Like, real shit that you didn't know a year ago. Or feelings that you didn't know was there or said. So. It wasn't real feelings that were said. It was out of anger. And you know that we discussed it. But, okay, let's carry on. Some of the things that she had said. My heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just feel like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't, like. So, Jazz is basically saying because Tay, you know, said some foul shit, like, it was just unforgiving. I wonder what she said, y'all. I understand that because I said some hurtful things. I was just like, I told you, like I said, I was acting out of anger and, like, Tay is like me, y'all. I know she's not a Capricorn, but, like, she like me, y'all. When I'm angry, like, I say the most hurtful shit because I want you to hurt like me. Like, I want you to feel how I feel. I wanted you to hurt like I was hurting. It's like you didn't feel See? where I was coming from, and so I said some hurtful things, and I apologize. It's like we're human. Yep. We all make mistakes. It's like when I make a mistake, it's just like <sighs> type shit, but let's carry on. I don't know, something in me was just like, it's time to focus on yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's time to just put yourself 100% first. You've been doing that. What are you talking about? Oh. So Tay saying that Jazz wasn't really in the relationship like that, so how could she say she got to put herself first when she's been putting herself first the entire time? So basically, Tay wasn't feeling... The love, like she wasn't feeling the attention. 
um, to get back to you, like, you not even you. Exactly. And I'm glad she said she's not even her. And that's when I had that conversation. I had a talk with her like months prior i was just like i feel like you're not 100 percent yourself if you need to like you know when a relationship or anything starts to change you that's when you know you got to take some you know you got to step back a little bit you got to regroup get your shit together get back to where you are and then go back to what it was that you loved or try something new like take some i told her this i swear to god y'all told her i was like i like you at your best not your worst not your this not your that and i was trying to encourage her to get to her best i was trying to motivate her to get back to her best because i like i like seeing her at her best that's when i fell in love with her and oh, she's very emotional oh! oh she's so cute i love this i hate this emotional stuff Sorry. like i'm just here like oh my god i love this and she's like oh my god i hate this Honestly, I told her, like, like, pick up the camera. If you don't want me in it, cool. I told her to do all this stuff because I seen that. Let's care. Y'all, I'll be right back. I need a break. <laughs> Let's just keep watching because I don't want to get emotional in this video because, yeah, no. And that's how you know I feel like Tay loved Jazz more because in the reaction, like, Jazz didn't even get emotional like this like Tay is pouring her heart out she's the one that broke up with Jazz like dang I don't wanna that's what my mom was telling me so I just knew that like us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really need to work on ourselves individually it wasn't gonna work us staying in the same house while trying to do that even staying in different rooms and stuff so Jazz is saying she needed a break, she needed space, she needed, you know, time to do her own thing without Tay. Did I say Tay or Jazz? Jazz wanted space to do her own thing, you know, get her own space without Tay. Like, she just needed to disconnect from, you know, from the relationship a little bit. Regroup. It wasn't going to work. We needed that separation. We needed that space to... And I understand that. Y'all, and I feel like it's nothing worse that hurts than you know you be in a relationship you be so in love and then boom all of a sudden someone comes to you like i need my space it's just like well dang like i was trying to help you i was trying to you know work on this and like dang that shit hurts y'all and that's why i called it quits because it's like but for her to call it quits for her to do the breaking up Rather than it, rather than it being Jazz, you know Tay loved her. Like she sacrificed her own feelings for the well-being of Jazz. Jazz's, you know, mentality. Like that's that's crazy. If you're not gonna call it quits, and you seeing that we're just going deeper and deeper and deeper in a hole, I'll call it quits so we won't have to just try to, you know, escape that and get into a dark mode because like I said y'all I've been there and I didn't want her to go back there I know she probably been there too and that's why I called it oh. quits so we can have some space apart to better us there y'all have it y'all Tay broke up with Jax but like well, that space to grow individually and um that's something that I explained to her and she noticed and yeah, that's basically when she decided um, towards kind of the middle end of December to get her own place, and that's where we decided that that was the best thing to do because obviously staying in that house, ignoring each other, like that is not healthy, y'all. When you be in a house with someone that you supposedly love, and y'all they're ignoring each other, y'all. Y'all can't tell me that you've been in that spot, y'all. When I be mad, like, I be walking around mad. I be, like, ignoring my husband. I be like, don't talk to me. But eventually, you know, we come back together. It ain't like this, but I understand what she's saying. It's just gonna make things worse. It, let's be honest. It's gonna make things worse. And, like I said, we discussed, like, if I move, we're still gonna be, you know, connecting, but... Y'all, this her, this me. We on two different sides of, like, the world.
a bubble type shit. Like, we're not here. We're here. Like, let's be real. I just think that they, at this point, they both want different things. Tay wants to grow in the relationship, and Jazz wants her own space. Like, they're literally, like she said, on opposite, eyes, uh, opposite sides of the field. Like, they're like two parallel lines on the same track, but they'll never meet. Oh, I'm dropping some geometry knowledge here. I'm still processing it because it's kind of like the first time it actually came out of my mouth. This is the first time. Like I told you, I've been talking to my parents. I don't talk. I ain't talking to my own family about it. Like I'm just so yeah. Real, because like, let's be real. Be real. Like be real. You know what? I keep it. I keep everything in as like a person. Like I keep everything in. I like to deal with it by myself. I'm that Libra. Like yeah, that's. What Sometimes that's not even healthy either. What happened with that? Nobody stepped out. Nobody did no real crazy. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all was thinking. Stuff happened in the relationships, and sometimes people grow apart. People disconnect. And, it, and that's where I feel like you should have communicated with me. Like, when you feel like you were disconnected from me, communicate. Just like I communicated with you. It's just our communication and our communication. I feel like Jazz just didn't know how to say it, so she didn't. Y'all know you want to tell somebody something, but you don't have to say it. So you just be like, man, never mind. I feel like that's what Jazz was doing. But in the end, it was hurting the relationship even more. So Tay had to be the one to put on her grown girl panties and be like, look, this ain't working. We're done. It was way off on a half a point. Like, I feel like I was doing so good. I was, I changed that whole year. See? It was like, I found myself. I'm like, okay. If I noticed something wrong, I would try to talk about it. I would try to fix it. I would try to, you know, get better solutions. I was try to, you know, if I noticed that she was down, I was trying to uplift. But I just feel like it wasn't re reciprocated. That's all. That's all. Sometimes shit happens. That's, that's relationships, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've really been with that girl since I came to Houston. I stepped foot in Houston, and I saw her, and I... I just, can nobody, like, tell me to not fuck with her? Like, could nobody tell me to not, like, mess with Tay? Like, Aww. that was, like, that was my baby. Like, that was for real. Like, could nobody tell me not to mess with her? You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, man, I just feel like she been with me since she was 18. She's going to be 22. I've been with her since I was 20. You know what I'm saying? I just turned 24. Wow. Hard to discover new audiences? Okay, y'all, it's another ad. I'm going to watch her ad. Y'all, four years with somebody is a long time. Let, let's, let's do some calculations, shall we? Now, four years. So that's 365 days times four. Yo, that's 1,460 1, days, which is... 35,040 hours. Y'all just know that it's been a long time, okay? And like I said, I'm very supportive. Um, but, yeah, I feel like it was just, she was disconnected from me. And you can't force nobody to be connected to something they're not connected to. You can't force nobody to love you when they don't. That's all she's saying. Anymore. Maybe we're better off, like... Friends. I don't know. Maybe she'll find herself. Maybe maybe she get what she wanted. I don't know. Maybe she get what she was, like, her goal was. I don't know. Hopefully, I wish her nothing but the best. Oh, it's back on. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn it back on. We up. just never had that space. We never not been up on each other. Like, I met that girl. Like, that girl moved in. Like, would be down there. You know what I'm saying? Like... She said we never had that space. I feel like the whole 2020, we had that space apart. Like, hmm. Yo, Tay's petty. Tay said we had that whole space in 2020 because, like, she said they weren't connecting. But we was like this. But 2020, we was like this. And everything moved fast. And we never, ever had that separation. We never had that time to grow in those younger times like that in our life. 
And I told her, like, right now, we just need that time to grow and both get our mind right. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling drained. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling unhappy. Aww. I'm saying, and I don't want to feel any type of way my damn self because I was just feeling in a place where I just was not right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, and I noticed that. That's why I was just trying to get you to communicate with me. For real, for real, y'all. Like, let's be real. Right now, I'm feeling way much better that actually happened at the beginning of December where we yeah, now she's going to feel a lot better because she has her space. She can do her own thing. She's not, you know, under taste. You know, she like, she could breathe a little. Yeah. Not that I'm saying Tay was suffocating her, but at the moment, she needs her space. I know you feel better now. I was a problem, apparently. <laughs> Ooh, ouch, Tay. Ouch. But I'm glad you feel better. Oh, yo. The shade. Tay, I don't think you were the issue, baby girl. You weren't the issue. It's just, I think she was the issue. You were just not helping the issue. I'm glad. Like, I'm happy for you. On that note, y'all, I'm just going to end the video right here because, yeah, that's it. I'm glad she found herself. I'm glad that I figured it out. Like, I'm glad that. She's in a better space. I'm glad. I'm very happy for her. I wish her nothing but the best. I still have a lot of love for that girl. My love never changed. She's about to cry again, y'all. We just, you know, we grew apart. That's it. That's it. I understand. Like, for real, for real. I've been happy. Like, I've honestly been happy. Like, I've been She's finding myself. Well, I found myself beginning of 2020. I found myself. And the person that I'm becoming, I'm very happy with it. Like, for real, for real. I'm very happy. Like, I'm gonna cry because y'all just don't understand. I came up, I came a long way. Like, came a long way. Jazz taught me a lot business wise. I really do appreciate that. I taught her a lot spiritual wise. <laughs> I hope she take what I taught her and, like, le like really, you know, <laughs> run with it. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like, honestly, that's y'all see that emotion. I just feel like it wasn't gain out from Jazz, y'all. Like that's how you know it's over. When they have like have no emotion, yeah, that's how you know like it's it's done. Like there's nothing left. I still like I still look at her like this, but I respect that we need space apart. Honestly, I really do. Like I understand that. Like I'm an Aquarius. I'm very understanding. I understand. Like. That would explain so much, y'all. She reminds me so much of my best friend, and my best friend is an Aquarius. They're very loving and giving people. Like, they will give you their last just for you to be, you know, happy. But sometimes, you know, that, that their caringness, if that's a word, is taken advantage of. Like, I really do. Understand you're trying to work on your brand. I understand that. I understand. I just feel like why wasn't why couldn't Jazz be woman enough to just keep it a hundred? Like keep it a buck with a girl. Like you're gonna, you know, separate yourself and do all that petty stuff. Like you could have just told the girl, like she would have understood. And that's what she didn't understand where I understood. Like I get where you're coming from. And it wasn't going to hurt my feelings. Like, I've always found a way by myself. I always found a way. Like, I'm that type of person. If I see something wrong, I'm going to find a way for myself. I'm going to, I know how to maneuver, y'all. I know how. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. I just feel like Tay is hurt because Jack didn't trust her with her feelings and, you know, how she would have been able to handle this. Right, that's the end of this video. I'm really not going to do an outro to it. So, yeah. Bye. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay positive. And remain yourself. Remember that. Remain yourself. Don't change for nobody. 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 Love yourself first. That's all I got to say. Aww. Love yourself first. Don't get lost in this crazy world. Don't get lost. Stay true to your soul. Stay true to your spirit. Please.
Don't get caught up with all this other stuff. Don't let it change you. That's all I want to say. Bye. But y'all, like I said in the first video, like, they're still young. They have so much more to live for, so much more to do. You never know what will happen in the future. I wish them both the best of luck. Honestly, they're two really great, entertaining, down-to-earth, you know, females. Like, they'll get through this. They'll, maybe they'll become friends one day. And maybe you'll see them again in more videos together. But, like, as friends, or maybe they'll get back together. But I just feel like the same way Tay has found himself, I feel like Jad needs to do the same thing. And hopefully she, you know, gets through that, you know, in her own time. Like, you know, everything takes time. And, yeah. Woo, that was a lot, y'all. That was a lot. But I'm thankful that y'all stuck you with your girl. Hey, hey. Shout out to Tay for taking you know, in the initiative that, you know, things need to end and, you know, just because they're apart doesn't mean that, you know, they gotta be enemies or whatever. Like, she did what was best for her significant other and I really applaud her for that because not a lot of people would do that. A lot of people would probably be selfish and want to stick together, but no, Tay said, you're not happy? Okay, I'll sacrifice my happiness for your growth, for you to grow. We need to be apart even if you know I'm not feeling it or whatever it's what needs to happen and yeah so shout out to Tay girl you are one strong independent female all right so I give you props and kudos to all of that make sure y'all but I'm y'all I'm out make sure you like comment subscribe and like some comments y'all you know what the this is your girl let's get it I mean it's your girl sunny out mother freaking baby that was been a long day I'm out. Peace, love, and all the love. Bye, home.